fish, or as I like to call them, water slugs, were first introduced to the UK in the mid-1800s by the 9th Duke of Bedfordshire at his now infamous lakes, Woburn Abbey. According to Wikipedia, he then went on to blow his fucking brains out at the tender age of 71 as a result of insanity while suffering from pneumonia. Or as us dyslexics say, pneumonia. Why am I telling you this? Because I'm here at Churchwood Fisheries to fish for the mighty water slug. Churchwood Fisheries in Brentford, Essex is home to three stunning lakes. Churchwood Lake, Jenkins Lake and the Catfish Lake. And what's brilliant about this place is that it's got its own sign. In this episode I'll be having the catfish experience courtesy of the owner, Steve. Catfish are an apex predator, isn't that right? They are. And if I stuck my hand in this here lake, it'd be demolished within about five to ten seconds. Isn't that right? No more fishy fingers. That would be awful. No, this is because I've... Because you know I... So it's my main sort of... I actually didn't mean it like that, by the way. Oh, no, well, because... <laughs> if I hold one, it's not going to... Nah, you'll be all right. Yeah. I actually, think. can you lie and say, no, it will bite your face off? Might bite your face off. Face, do that again, face off. <laughs> Might bite your... <laughs> I'm saying that. All right, do it again, ready, ready do it again, right? Might bite your face off, though. So what Steve's doing here is piling his filthy balls into this bait boat to send out in the location of the catfish so that we can get another cat on. Remind you of anything? Oh! <laughs> is it dog? Oh. <laughs> Krill. <laughs> Head over towards that bush over there. You know me, love a bush. So what we got here is a very standard cat rig. We've got a 20 mil bottom bait, in this case a krill, topped by a little 16 mil krill pop-up. Sits very nicely in the water, just like that. Little shocker rig, so basically, fish will pick up, hook itself, and then it'll pull it out and it'll be running. Do you want to answer? Alphabet community safe. Could these catfish be the ancestors from Woburn Abbey? Could, this, could these have been plucked from that, from that batch in the 1800s? There's a lot of history with cats, believe it or not. Yeah. And the biggest ones in the country, they can pretty much trace back from when they were imported from wherever they were in Europe. More likely to be relatives of something that was imported from Europe many, many years ago. Do you reckon we could slide though and say that they... I reckon there's a good, strong, stronger possibility that they are well related. Do you reckon you could just say yes? 100% they are. You've heard it here. Royal catfish, mate. Up your bum. Oh. Punchy, it's punchy. Oh, look at the bend in that rod. Whoa! Jesus, Mary! God! If you've not catfished, get yourself out there and catfish if you can, because it's something else. My arm's aching! My arm, Steve! Holy shit. My heart's pumping through my neck. Am I dying? I'm all right, eh? Two hands, two hands, this is something. Oh my God. How long is this gonna take? We're still going for it. They are relentless, these catfish. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, it's come off. Oh no. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> oh. Let's have a look. Oh. Bum, isn't it? How big do you think that one was? Big one. The crunch. The crunch. Big one. As luck would have it, 
I was in with another. And then, you never guess what. Oh, it's fucking foul hooked. Even that was foul hooked. Steve allowed us to have a look at the fish's anatomy before releasing it safely back into the water. So, got a cat here, around about 20 pounds, I would say. The most interesting part, though, can you see them big teeth down there? Oh my god. Now, if you fill these in the top and bottom, oh. fill the top one. No way! Oh my god, Steve, that's frightening. So, one, they down on you? Can, you. can you see the big crushing pads down there? So, once a fish. Once a fish has passed these rasping pads, there's no way that fish is coming back this way. It's back of its throat, it's like a bum on it. Squeaky bum time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't count it. Doesn't it doesn't count, no. Shame, really. It's that water slug swam away like my dreams. Into the distance, beyond reach. Lovely. So this is Amy Flyfish TV's Bibs. What do you even call this thing? Mini caravan. A mini caravan bib. It has rod rack at the top. Stylish. Light. I've blinded myself. Follow me, follow me around, follow me around. There's a window. A head torch. Come inside, guys. Come inside. Spacious. We've got. Mood lighting. Mood lighting? Oh my god! When you're feeling in the mood. A different lighting. A TV. Bibs. The alarms went off and it was my wife's turn oh. to take the rods. And I didn't think this would be a moment, but it was actually quite special. Wow. Can we swap? Hey? Okay. Oh, you want me to take over? I mean, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I won't let you go. Help me, Jack. Sweetheart, I won't pull you in. I'm not going to let you go. We're tag team in this. <laughs> That's so bad. That's not how it sounds. In all our six years of blissful relationships, we've, we've never, never tagged team. team. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> but we have now. <laughs> Quite beautiful, really, wasn't it? Anyways, after what felt like eternity, Bavisha finally got the cat to the net. It's not going to chop my finger off, is it? Jeez! Wow. My heart is pumping. Got it? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely <laughs> mega. I can't even put oh this into God. words. This woman here, I get, I get a bloody bow. She hooks this one right in the top lip. You can't make it up. I bought her here. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even fish as much as me. I don't think I can lift this anymore. My arms. Ah. Let's put her down, let's put her down. Woohoo! Oh, swelling! Go on, Bavisha. Yeah, 42. Yeah, 40 pounds, isn't it? 40, 40 pounds! <laughs> yes! Get in! <laughs> that is wicked. After catching that beautiful catfish, all that was left to do was celebrate by having some drinks. And Steve happens to be quite the sophisticated cocktail artist. Right, cheers. Oh, that is delicious. I mean, once you start, it's very Moorish. I dropped, dropped it. Accidental. <laughs> Still wait for the catfish. Got another espresso martini after the one I dropped. 
Not gonna lie, like that has hit me. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I actually don't drink. You can drop this one as well. Mm -hmm. That one's falling about, can I have another? Yes. Number three. I'm running out of stuff. <laughs> great here. They just go down so well. <laughs> I look like me and Steve, innit, Steve? Yeah. Just say yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> How many rods we got out for? We didn't end up catching another cat and it was time to say our goodbyes. Anyone who hasn't catfished, get yourself here, book yourself down here, get yourself out of the river you are, go catfishing. It is something else. I just want to say thank you so much for this experience. Cheers. And you've done extremely well, the pair of you. And I can say with certainty, after two minutes thirty seconds inside Steve, I'm definitely a hundred percent lesbian. Sorry, Steve, it wasn't what you thought it would be. I have a question to you, Dave. Um, um, is there anything you want to touch on yourself? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm part of the alphabet community. Oh, Is that no. a gun shot? That's pigeon shooting. They're killing the pigeons? Yeah, it's pigeon shooting. See all these pigeons? Yeah. Don't um, go that way. I'm What's the biggest bit. gash you've seen? Probably when I was about 16. What was that? How big was the gash? About that big. That's a massive gash. Yeah, get your head in it. Who, whose gash was it? Um, guy fell off a motorbike. It was his leg all hanging open. It's horrible. Like that big. How's his leg now? Is it? I don't know. I think he died. talking to you, Steve. You too. Oh, I'm a guy. Yeah. I made that up, by the way.